RTX HDR for gaming is available right now through a mod and I highly recommend you to give it a try link in the description of the video this is free from Nexus mod but now the problem is it costs performance okay and one of the biggest strengths of HDR gaming is that you just get a better picture quality for no performance cost whatsoever okay that sounds like a fantastic deal you just get a better display your games look better but there's no performance hit okay so now we don't have this here and you can get like 10 percent performance penalty and that's just a no-go there is absolutely no way I would use this RTX HDR when we have so many different ways to get a fantastic picture quality through, you know, auto HDR, tricks and tweaks, you know, reshade, major paint the cactus, you name it. But this could get better and better and better and of course the more you buy, the more you save. You just get a you know, bigger, more powerful GPU. And yeah, maybe if a game is CPU bound, for example, and there is no frame generation or something like that, maybe you know, if you have the performance to spare, um, GPU is at 80% or something, yeah, just you know, get this ray tracing HDR if the game doesn't support uh, HDR. And it does look fantastic. It looks very, very good, especially because the gamma looks correct. Okay, so near black it is going to look good. It's not going to look washed out. The colors are going to pop, especially um, you get some um, eye candy. Okay, let's, let's, let's say it like that. The colors are going to pop and they pop beautifully. Okay, I really, really like how the colors look. So now, it is, the, for now at least, from what I can see, it is the same as the RTX HDR video, okay? It is limited to 650 nits. So now, how do I know that? Because there's no way I can take a screenshot. I tried. If I take a screenshot, it, it's just not accurate. The, it's like 81 nits or something like that. It is not accurately taking a screenshot with this feature at it I don't understand why but the thing is on my testing here's what I did I set tone mapping off on this LG C1 OLED to do tone mapping with a 700 nits target which is what I know um, it gives me the best results when using RTX video okay so I set 700 nits here and I selected tone mapping off on my LG C1 OLED tone mapping off and then what I'm doing is I'm switching back and forth from HDIG to tone mapping off. And I see that tone mapping off is brighter. Uh, and I am not clipping details. Okay. So that tells me that this is like 700 nits. It's like um, 650 nits. Like RTX HDR video. So yeah, if you don't have these tone mapping options uh, on your display, if you have a 1000 nits display or something like that, that doesn't have like a to dynamic tone mapping feature or something, uh, it might not be the best option because you want, you need a, a higher max CLL. The max CLL is the brightness that the content is trying to output. So it is not going to be ideal, but the biggest strength that this RTX uh, HDR feature has is the gamma okay near black gamma it looks correct uh, you're not gonna get a washed out you know picture near black you don't have to be selecting you know uh, the SDR gamma 2.2 to HDR ICC profile that I share with you something like that you get what I'm saying it's basically an ICC profile that it was designed to fix originally SDR Gamma 2.2 content on Windows 11 because Windows 11 is enforcing this SRD, sRGB um, piecewise something like that I don't understand how this works okay it is just enforcing HDR to look good on SDR content that was originally sRGB 
Okay. So basically, if the SDR content is 2.2 and you have HDR on on Windows 11, it's going to look washed out. Now, this ICC profile that I share with you, link in the description of the video, what it does is that it fixes that originally SDR Gamma 2.2 content so it looks good. It doesn't look washed out. Okay. But it seems like everything on Windows 11 is from sRGB. Okay. From sRGB to HDR10. And not all content looks good like that. So native HDR is okay. You don't have to use this ICC profile. But the thing is, with this RTX HDR, you don't need any ICC profile, nothing, because it seems like NVIDIA knows what Windows is doing. Maybe Windows, <laughs> they do know what they're doing, but it's just, uh, it's just wrong to just enforce the same um, you know, gamma curve or whatever you want to call that over all content because not all content is the same. There should be a way to auto detect the content and then change accordingly. So you don't get anything looking washed out. Okay. And Windows doesn't have that uh, set up. So yeah, those are the strengths and weaknesses that I see. I highly recommend you to give it a try. And what you have to do is you download this uh, from Nexus Mod. You come here to Files. You download this, um, you know, NV True HDR Mod. You just you know, manual download. You come here and you know slow download if it's free. And then after you download this, um, you just need to open. You'll see it's gonna download here. See. Now you just need to open the, uh, you know, just unzip this file. Uh, you just unzip that and you're going to get this executable, okay? So after you get this executable, you just need to open it and you just going to drag the executable, the game executable. You're going to drag that into this window and then you're going to have these options it is going to tell you enter the action very high medium low or disabled okay so i just drive very high and it has a higher performance uh, penalty so they're saying here very high could have a like a 10 percent uh, performance hit okay so maybe it's gonna be you know better to try medium or low i i'm, I'm not sure what the difference is i would need to try more maybe with very high you don't see color banding maybe or it, is, it has a better gradation of colors or something like that. Uh, but I don't know. You have to give it a try. Um, I still have to keep testing it. And we have other options here too. So that's all you have to do. Just drag the, the game into this window. So now if you drag the game into the window and it tells you that it doesn't found, it's not finding the game, you need to come to this... Uh, NVIDIA control panel so if it tells you we don't find the game you need to add the game um, to the on the NVIDIA control panel you have to come here the NVIDIA control panel under manage 3d settings you come here and then you go to program settings and you click add okay and you just you know find where the game executable is you just add that and go ex you know accept yes and then after you do that, it is going to work. Then you just drag the game executable to this window and it's going to work. And then also make sure that you turn off, for this to work, make sure that you turn off image scaling or even DSR factors. I'm not sure about the DSR factors, but when I first tried this, I had... NVIDIA image scaling on and it was not working. I was like, man, why is this not working? I turned it off and then it worked. So I guess the same goes for DSR factors. The other downside is that with this NVIDIA RTX um, HDR, I cannot use this lossless scaling interpolation, okay? It looks washed out for some reason. It's not working with it. Um, so maybe I will, I might figure out a solution maybe just by playing around with it, but I, I it doesn't let me use this frame generation, 
uh, using this program. Uh, I have a video about it, link in the description of the video. Uh, I cannot use it. It just looks washed out. I have to turn this off, basically. So yeah, give it a try. Let me know your thoughts and opinions if you have any questions. I think it is you know, great that NVIDIA is focusing on HDR too because HDR gaming is a mess, especially near black, the gamma, the colors looking washed out and we having to do you know, so much just to get a good picture. Um, I hope that once this releases officially, then you know we're going to be able to select the brightness that we want basically depending on your display or maybe even depending on the HDR calibration app profile um, I hope that depending on whatever you need if you need 1000 2000 nits 1500 1400 whatever you are able to do that and to get that that peak brightness so because you know, we definitely need that for HDR. Yes, the gamma looks correct, that's nice. The colors are looking punchy, they are popping. But if you have a 2000 nits display or 3000 nits display and this is just trying to output 650 nits, that's not, that's not good. And then auto HDR is also capped to like up to 1000 nits. I, I don't understand why. Uh, because you could just use uh, something like the Major Pain, the Cactus mod, it's not supported here in GTA 5, um, unfortunately. Or maybe even a Special K, which is not supported either in some games. Uh, but what my point is that there are some auto HDR tricks and tweaks that you can use that they allow you to get you know whatever brightness you need. So I don't see why this NVIDIA RTX HDR would be uh, different, okay? We should be able to get whatever we need uh, in terms of brightness. But yeah, I can tell you that the colors are definitely uh, very nice. They're, they're popping, you know, very, very nice. Um, you know, this is heavily modded GTA uh, 5. This is the, called the Natural Vision mod, and it affects the colors. It makes everything more punchy and more colorful. And then on top of that, this, <laughs> AI HDR is also trying to make the colors pop. So this this really looks um, nice. It looks very very good. And on this LG OLED, I do have that tone mapping option that allows me to get all the brightness that my display can give me, which is not a lot more than 650 nits. Um, but yeah, it, it does look as good as my display can look, and I really really enjoy the colors. <laughs> it's red right here looks very nice okay, it looks very nice and and the light sources are popping I really really like it this is really really a great um, picture I really really like it but the thing is the performance hit is not it makes it I mean it's not very good but here I'm getting like a hundred almost 120 frames per second max out so yeah, it's, it's kind of okay <laughs> okay with this mod um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.